Hi there, I'm Nathan House from Station X. Station X is the number one cybersecurity career development platform. So if you're considering a switch to cybersecurity or maybe you're a newbie thinking about cybersecurity, these are my top tips on how to locate cybersecurity jobs. So a site I recommend is, and here it is, is cybersecurityjobs.com. The clue is in the name. That's where you'll find cybersecurity jobs, or at least you're going to find some good ones. So first thing you need to do with this site and any job seeking sites, you, know, you need to register because you need to access the features that are available only if you're logged in, such as saving job searches and alerts for jobs. So uh, you've got two options here. We can create an account or we can link to an existing account. So uh, anybody who's a job seeker, obviously, well, within cybersecurity certainly needs a LinkedIn profile. So you can link it to your LinkedIn profile and that'll save you having to put in your details. But I would make sure that you are using an email address. So if you're using LinkedIn, is that an email address that you're monitoring? It's got to be an email address that you're monitoring if you're an active job seeker, because when you get notified, you need to you need to act. You don't want it to be on some email address you're not checking out. You've got to be quick in the job market. So I'm just going to use LinkedIn. I'm just going to connect it to uh, LinkedIn. So there we go. We have registered and we are logged in. We're in my account. So we can see here settings. Now under settings, you can change how you're notified. If you're an active job seeker, obviously you need to be notified. You need to act fast. If you're not an active job seeker, then maybe you can turn this off. Uh, contact requests. So recruiters, for example, may uh, be, wish to contact you. So you'll see that there. Messages you can get from recruiters and admins. Uh, my job applications is obviously the jobs you've applied for. And you can save jobs that you are interested in. You just, there is a star at the side of the jobs and you can uh, star those for the ones that you are looking for. Right, let's get to the important stuff. So let's look at job searching, how to search for jobs. Okay, so here we are under the main search. So the question is, what do we search for? Well, location is usually the most important thing for many people. Uh, but these days there are many remote jobs. So you might want to do some open searching. So that means leave this blank and that will search everywhere. Or you can type remote in here. There we go. Uh, and or uh, United States. Uh, and that'll search specifically for remote jobs. But sometimes they don't always put remote, even though it's a remote option. Uh, so you can keep that open. Uh, and then uh, you get a better chance of finding something that may you may be able to do in your location, but it's not uh, you know specifically called out your location or specifically called out remote. So that's location. Obviously, location is important to most people. And then, of course, the obvious one is job titles. People are all always searching under job titles. Now, within cybersecurity, there are many names for cybersecurity jobs that effectively do the same thing. So for example, IT security analyst, cybersecurity analyst, cybersecurity specialist, and so on, many variations of this can it different titles, but can all be doing the same jobs. Or you can have a cybersecurity analyst at one place and a cybersecurity analyst at another place, and they do totally different things. So we don't have a strong convention for a number of job types within cybersecurity. We do for some. So penetration tester is a specific type of job. Malware analyst is a specific type of job. So some of them you can do a specific search for, but many are quite have these generic names. So you can so so the most general term you can use to search for would be the term security. On this site it won't show you jobs for security guards and physical security, uh, but it will on some other sites. So to do a general search under security is what you might want to do to really open it up to, to, to all types of jobs on other sites. But the advantage of this site is you don't need to do that is because they're all cybersecurity jobs on here. If anyone who hasn't got my cybersecurity career guide, you can uh, find that at this URL here. And... If we look in the guide, let's uh, whiz down here. We can see some common titles for popular and or 
jobs that are commonly available if you're not familiar with the titles of cybersecurity jobs. And it also gives you a description here of what that uh, cybersecurity role is and uh, and the potential salary as well. Now, the the good thing uh, about this too is I've also made it clickable so it will search under cybersecurityjobs.com for those types of jobs. So we've got a penetration tester, ethical hacker, security analyst and specialist, cyber crime analyst, uh, cyber crime investigator, security consultant, security engineer and architect, freelance consultant and contractor, chief information security officer. So if we have a look at some of these names, right, penetration testers, that's a specific role, ethical hacker specific role. So as it says here, penetration tester might specialize in domains such as red teaming, infrastructure, penetration, penetration testing. So these are looking for, these, these are hacking into systems, being paid to find vulnerabilities, reporting on weaknesses. That is a specific type of job. Now here you've got security analyst specialist, general term, generalist-ish term. S- often it can be, the analyst title can be a more junior, but not always. Sometimes, you know, they can be uh, quite senior. And specialist, obviously, it's very general terms, these ones. Specific here. So cr- cybercrime analyst, investigator, examines digital components to determine if illegal actions have been taken, also can respond to security incidents. Security consultants, Quite a gen- uh, general term here, but often this is where you're working for a consultancy and uh, then and therefore you'll be hired out to other organizations like e- IBM, for example. You could work for IBM as a, a consultant. Now, engineer, security engineer is a little bit more specific. Engineer would tend to be doing more of the creation of things. Uh, more of the, maybe a little bit of the design of things. But when it comes to design, that's the architect. So an architect would tend to design the security solutions. Let's say a bank needs uh, a mobile banking app. How is that mobile banking app going to be secured? The architect would design the security features of it. Now, the, the engineer might be part of the implementation, the design of uh, some part of that, that solution. So these are a little bit more specific uh, in terms of their title and what they do. So freelancers, contractors, these are people that uh, work for themselves, tend to charge on a a daily rate. And we have the chief information security officer. That's a specific title, senior level executive, but also you could be a security director. You could be an information security officer. You could be a, well, they could have other titles that does a similar a similar job, a similar role. Also, another useful link is this one, which you can see here. This has more titles for roles. And if you click on these, it will provide more information as to salary, the sort of skills uh, that require the sort of education, certificates and things like that. So you can find much more information uh, at this URL here. Uh, so let's go back to our searching. So there you saw all the the names that I that I mentioned. So you can search under those names. So uh, let's pop back to this for a second. So let's do a search for this this one, for example. And here we go. So here we can find our chief information security officers. And as you can see, we've got chief information officer. So it's not actually doesn't actually say chief information security officer, but the job will probably be very similar. We have here Chief Information Security Officer. Another way that this is wrote is, is just simply as an acronym, CISO. But to be honest, most people listening to this will not be applying for Chief Information Security Officer roles. Now, another thing to search for would be your certificates, because these are jobs that are calling for the skills that you have. And if they're calling for the skills that you have, then it's a match to what you can do. So we, look, we can see here, we've got an example of a remote job and this one's called cybersecurity engineer. And if we pop down here, we can see here, it says CISP. So if you, obviously if you have your CISP, it's going to be somewhat in line with what, what the job is asking for. Now, another important thing to search for, to think, think to search for would be the uh, technology, which 
you uh, are familiar with or you are looking to work with it. Now we can see some examples here. So we've got uh, we've got SIEM, we've got IDS, we've got IPS, we've got uh, PKI. Uh, you probably want to avoid doing generic uh, or, or more open searches like Microsoft or things like that. But if you you know if you've got some skills within say AWS, uh, then that would be uh, something to search for. So the technologies, the skills that the skills that you have, uh, other good searches. Now another thing would be the the security domain or function that you might want to work within or have skills in. So if we have a look at my career guide, you can see we've got this cybersecurity domains diagram. So this is a just just one way of slicing the cybersecurity industry into functions uh, and areas by which you might work. So, for example, let's say uh, you're interested in working in a SOC security operations center. So, so we can search for the function uh, privacy, uh, red, uh, red teaming. So obviously you can use these and these will point you towards jobs that are, may have a generic name like security analyst. But if you do a search for like cloud security, it's more likely to find what it is that you are uh, wanting to work in. Now, another thing is industry. Some people are interested in industry. So there are a few things here uh, that can help narrow down the industry. Now, I would say industry is probably a little bit neglected in terms of people's consideration. So your industry or your vertical market. So it's definitely a good opportunity to invest in security skills in an extreme growth industry, if you can. So if you you could consider joining an organization that is within uh, one of those extreme growth. So if you wanted to know what the extreme growths are, and obviously this is just going to be, uh, this is futurology, this is, this, is, this is guesswork as well. So, but there are places like this report, like the um, innovation platform enterprise value uh, from 2020 to 2030, uh, that listed what it determines as extreme growth markets. So, it's, you know, it's possible you might want to look for jobs within that market because then you'll become more marketable having those skills. So, for example, let's say, for example, banking. It's hard to get into banking unless you've already worked in banking. So it, it's actually good to have worked in banking because it enables you to get those difficult to get banking jobs. And so some of these industries you will find that are growing uh, you might find difficult to get into unless you've got those skills going forward. So things that are, uh, that have potential are blockchain, uh, so Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, Metaverse. But obviously, those are those are all risky plays. I would say digital wallet wallets would be included in there, uh, hardware wallets, software wallets, and all those sorts of ideas. Things are a bit more solid. Uh, gene editing industry, gene sequencing. Living therapies, 3D printing, uh, reusable ro rockets, robotics, uh, autonomous mobility, uh, battery technology. Getting into any of those, I think, would be a, a good good niche uh, that will be a, a large growing market that will make you more saleable to have security skills and skills within one of those growth markets. Right. Um, you can see this uh, star here that will enable you to save uh, that particular job. So we can see there it's saved it. And we can also, let's say we're interested in CISO jobs. We can do a little search for CISO, Chief Information Security Officer. And we want to be alerted whenever one of those jobs turns up. So we can see here, receive alert, create alert. So your search has been saved as an alert. Edit the details of your new alert anytime within the job alert section. So let's have a look at job alerts. And there we go. So we can see our current uh, job alerts. We've got two there for CISO. So one of those is redundant. So we can remove those. And of course, we can update these. So we can see here this is sending it out daily or we can change it to weekly. We've got the keyword and the function, the industry. So obviously you can edit all that. So let's go back to jobs. Okay, so let's say we want to apply for a job. So we need to click on the job and obviously you just click apply. But in this case, 
this will take you to the, the business that is offering the uh, role and, the, and, and you need to uh, apply through there. Another function to be aware of is resumes. So you can think of this site much like LinkedIn. We've got our public resumes. Obviously, don't put anything on there that is private. Just think of it like LinkedIn. Uh, make sure there's nothing that is private on there. And we've got our private resumes that no one else can see that you might want to give to a recruiter. And uh, you can build a, build a resume on here or you can just upload one. Building one just uh, gets you to fill in the uh, common questions that you would have on your CV. And if your resume is on here, it means recruiters can find you. Another thing worth pointing out is on the front page, you can find some shortcuts to various different useful searches. So you can see we've got certificate searches here. We've got the names of common job title searches, and we've got positions here that, that you can apply for. Now, I would suggest, so use cybersecurityjobs.com. If you're a newbie, to familiarize yourself with the skills, knowledge, experience, and qualifications typically required for the job types that you're pursuing. And understanding job specs will help you identify the capability gaps between your current skills and those of the role that you aspire to do. And you need, then need to close any of those skill gaps through training to secure those jobs. And also I would suggest using cybersecurityjobs.com to clearly understand the available jobs, locations, salaries, skills, job titles. Understanding the job market will help you identify the job types that best meet your passions. You may find some roles within cybersecurity you were not aware of that existed that you could pursue. There are many different uh, types of jobs. Often in, when it comes to cybersecurity, people think it's all technical or it's all hacking. Um, but it's actually quite a large umbrella uh, of lots of different types of roles. I mean, you even have cybersecurity solicitors, for example, who would be uh, generally quite untechnical through to more hardcore um, reverse engineering or exploit development. So there's a, there's, a, there's a large range. So as I showed you, use cybersecurity jobs to register for job alerts. The alerts will keep you updated on how the job market is evolving and prepare you to apply as soon as possible. So I hope that's been useful. I would also recommend my uh, career guide. There's lots of information in there. Check out Cybersecurity Jobs. That's it. Have a great day.